The last two years have been quite hectic for all the Arrowverse fans. Although the CW was expanding their DC lineup with shows like Superman and Lois and Stargirl, there were quite a few shows that were canceled before they even came out. So it got us thinking about all the shows that the Arrowverse have announced but never came out. If you want to see all of the canceled Arrowverse shows that never came out, keep watching. Number 10. Deathstroke But it just took a little time to turn you into... Ah! Deathstroke. This fictional supervillain made his debut in 1980 as Deathstroke the Terminator. He is usually portrayed as an assassin and the arch enemy of the Teen Titans. On the TV, he first appeared in Arrow's first season in a few flashbacks as an ally and mentor to Oliver Queen before becoming his nemesis. He also appeared in Justice League and then made his way into the primary villain of the second season of Titans. A few years back, there was talk about producing a new Deathstroke TV show. After his appearance in Justice League, wanting a TVMA rating with the main character being an anti-hero was a concept that was pretty quickly taken down and ended up being nothing but an idea. However, we never actually know if this show will be picked up again in the future. Number 9. Wonder Girl Just last year when it was announced that Green Arrow and the Canaries would make its way on the TV, Three more shows were announced into the Arrowverse, including Wonder Girl. The series would have shown Yara Floor, a character that hasn't even appeared in print yet, and would appear months after this announcement. Fans were confused, but at the same time, excited to see this kind of a show. She would have presented a future day Wonder Woman, but before she even managed to appear on print, the show was canceled or was pressed pause on it. Our guess is that the CW weren't interested enough about this character and were worried where they'll draw their material from since she has just debuted in the comics. Number 8. Our Man After the huge success of Arrow and the development of The Flash in 2013, the creator of Ironside saw this opportunity to bring back Golden Age hero Our Man to the small screen of CW. This version, however, would have been different from the rest of the versions that would later appear, where he can perceive time and look one hour into the future. Unfortunately, after the official announcement for this show, things went quiet and the show never happened. One of the things we believe was a factor on why it never came out was because Our Man is not that big of a character to be able to hold his own show. Or it might be the fact that CW was simply not interested in the idea of creating this show. Number 7. Booster Gold. I'm pure gold, ladies and gentlemen. I am Booster Gold, the greatest hero you've never heard of. Since Booster Gold debuted in the DC Comics, he has been quite a memorable character that later on went on to be a member of the Justice League. He is portrayed as a glory-seeking showboat from the future, using both his knowledge and historic events put together with futuristic technology to make himself a hero and do such heroic actions. Around the time when Superman and Lois and Stargirl were still in development, there was a rumor that a TV show about Booster Gold would hit the small screens. According to the Arrowverse producer at the time, this show was supposed to air before Arrow was even created. However, in the years after that rumor, there was no word about the Booster Gold TV show, and the entire plan simply vanished. Number 6. The Dead Man in the comics, Deadman is a guy named Boston Brand who is murdered and becomes a ghost because of it, and later on, even becomes a member of Justice League Dark. In 2011, the CW actually began developing a show called The Dead Man, but for some reason, this show never premiered and was completely left behind. Now, we don't quite know the exact reason why this show wasn't made but we can only assume that the CW had to choose between the Dead Man and a Green Arrow show. At the end, the CW chose the Green Arrow, leaving Dead Man behind. If this show would have been made, there wouldn't have been Arrowverse to begin with, and it would have cost the CW more money since there had to be CGI involved in filming the Dead Man. Number 5. Blue Beetle From the start of the first season of Arrow, it was teased that the tech company Cord Industries, run by Ted Cord, would be a big deal in the show. This meant that we would be introduced to the superhero Blue Beetle. But before they made anything official, all of these plans were changed when the producers suggested the Atom take over in his place. Along with Blue Beetle starring in Arrow, there were a lot of rumors that he would star in his own TV show after his role in Arrow. 
While his role in Arrow was passed on to someone else, Blue Beetle still began development on a show where he is the main character. And even though they did a test clip, the show didn't make it to TV. Number 4. Wonder Woman Long before Gal Gadot got her role as Wonder Woman, there was one shot from DC to create a TV show about Wonder Woman. The Amazon show would have been an origin story about Wonder Woman. But as they started filming the plot, there was another show called The Flash in development at the same time. At this point, the CW had a choice to make, so they chose to give the pilot to The Flash, which seemed to be a great idea due to the huge popularity the show has gained. With this, the pilot for Wonder Woman was pushed back to the 2015 release date. But at that time, there were also developments of a Wonder Woman movie, which came out in 2017, and is probably one of the main reasons this show never made it through. Number 3. Painkiller My venom coursing through your veins right now must make it difficult for you to think. As we mentioned, while Green Arrow and the Canaries was under development, three more shows were also being made. One of them was Painkiller a character that was first introduced to us in the first season of Black Lightning and has been a big part of the show. However, in May 2021, they confirmed that the show about Painkiller will not be coming out. The reason for this? We think it might be that the backdoor pilot they filmed didn't match their desired ratings, so they ended up shutting the entire thing down. There are still a few rumors saying that HBO Max might be considering taking over the series and going through with it. We guess we'll wait and see. Number 2. The Atom We already mentioned that after quite a long time of prepping Blue Beetle for Arrow, at the last moment they decided to switch it up and added The Atom to the show. Given the development of the character and all those times he operated outside the themes of Arrow, the CW were considering giving him his own spin-off series. After the huge success of Arrow in The Flash, CW was looking for the next big thing, and apparently, Adam was at the top of the list. Unfortunately, instead of releasing the Adam show, the CW opted to produce Legends of Tomorrow, teaming multiple characters from their two superhero shows. After this, there was no talk whatsoever about this Adam show ever being produced or even considered. Number 1. Green Arrow and the Canaries while Arrow was slowly coming to an end, an effort was made to continue the story of Arrow in a new show called Green Arrow and the Canaries. This show was announced a few years back alongside Naomi and Superman and Lois, but even though it was the closest one to come to being picked up, it still didn't make it. There was a backdoor pilot for the show and even an entire cast that we were so sure it was a sealed deal, but in January 2021, they announced that the show will not be coming out even though the backdoor pilot had really high ratings. In the end, it might have been that the CW weren't quite interested in making this show, or maybe they expected a bit higher ratings that they had for the pilot. On a related note, we wanted to know, out of all the shows we mentioned, which one would you wish was actually released? Let us know in the comment section below. If you'd like to see more amazing videos such as this one, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.